Hi, Damien from Power here. In this video, we're going to talk about uh, rosters, how to set them up, how to configure them, and, and how to uh, use them. The roster controls the availability of a clinician, and you can see it here, for instance, we're on Renee's calendar, uh, and we can see that, that uh, 9 to 5, uh, Monday to Friday, um, she is set as available. We can see that because uh, of the lighter color. Um, this gray area indicates that she is not rostered um, for those times. Um, rosters are important because um, it also controls if clients are booking um, online um, you of course only ever want a client to book when you're available and rostered on to work uh, we don't need uh, people booking in on a Sunday at 8 a.m. if you don't work those hours so um, to get to rosters we just click in the setup menu here and we go to roster and you'll see on the left hand side here the different calendars or different clinicians and we can see we're selected on uh, Renee, uh, Renee here so we're looking at Renee's roster. Now you can have multiple uh, rosters depending on the um, your needs and the most common scenario for that uh, having multiple rosters would be where you're working at different uh, locations. So let's have a look at this existing roster here for Renee. Um, we've got a start and a finish time uh, so we'll click on this to have a look uh, and see what it looks like. So we can see that this is a location for her working in uh, Brighton. It, it recurs weekly. You can actually change that to uh, fortnightly. And what we can see here are the days and the times that uh, Renee is available uh, to work. So we have here the uh, 9 a.m. Uh, to uh, 5 uh, PM uh, on the Monday. So if we want to change that, we can actually just edit this here. And let's say that Renee worked, say, 9 a.m. to, say, 12 um, on the Monday, and then came back in the afternoon and did a second um, period of time. I've just clicked on Add Availability here, and we can pick that up and say, OK, she's also going to work from 3 um, through to, let's say, 6 o'clock. So if we click uh, Save here, and I'll show you what that looks like in the calendar. Um, you can see now we've got Renee working from 9 to 12 and then 3 to 6. Okay, to go jump back into um, Renee's roster, I just want to show you a couple of other features. Um, for each of these time blocks, you'll see it says uh, clients can book uh, online. And so this uh, determines whether you would like that block of time to be available and bookable for uh, for clients online. So it might be, for instance, that on a Friday afternoon, um, you'd rather people don't um, book uh, online because maybe you, if there are no appointments there, you might prefer to leave early, for instance. So you can actually just click um, that off. It just means that those times won't be shown as available spots for clients um, to um, book into. Okay, going back to uh, Renee's uh, main roster page here, uh, if we want to add a, a roster for a separate location, we could simply uh, click here, add a new roster. We can change it, say, to the Hawthorne Clinic, for example. Um, we might get rid of um, these rostered times for everything, but it might be that on a Saturday, she works in Hawthorne. So what I'm going to do is get rid of all the other rostered times and I'm just going to leave um, the Saturday and perhaps uh, she might work from say 9 to 1 o'clock at um, Hawthorne and if we maybe make the start time of that from the start of Feb uh, and we have a look now in the calendar to see what that looks like. You can see that Renee now works um, on the Saturday from a 9 um, to 1. And you'll also see that the uh, color is different. Um, and that's because she's working at a different location. And um, if you watch the locations video, you can see when you're setting up locations, you can determine the color um, of each location. Okay, back into rosters again. So if we click here, um, the final thing I really want to show you is that you can add um, what we call a 
roster override and this is where you want um, a change to the roster so let's say for instance someone's going on leave uh, you may want to make them unavailable for a set period of time without having to go through and individually remove availability for each um, uh, of that uh, period that that person's away. So what we can actually do is click on the override and say available uh, is no and then we can put a start and finish time. So let's say unavailable from, let's just make it the 1st of March um, through to uh, let's say the 15th of, of March and click um, save and that's for the Brighton Clinic you can do it for uh, both um, if, if desired but if we go to um, here now and we have a look at Renee and we flick forward we'll see that once we get into March you can see that um, she's not available for that time if she also wasn't going to be working at the other clinic you would also add another override to remove her from uh, working at the Hawthorne Clinic. Um, that's everything for rosters uh, for now, so thank you very much for uh, watching this video.